Hi, I'm Deb Heatherly, and today I'd like to show you the Creative Grids Kitty Corner Tool. With the Kitty Corner Tool, you'll make this very popular quilting block in one of 11 sizes. With sizes ranging from a 1 inch to a 6 inch finished, the design possibilities are endless. You'll make the blocks from squares and rectangles, and you'll make them two at a time. You'll also make them slightly oversized, and the tool will allow you to trim them down to perfection in the final step. Let's look at the four steps on the tool before I show you how it works. Step one allows you to cut the A units for the center of the block from the squares that you start out with. There's a cutting chart right on the tool. Step two takes the rectangles and creates mirror image B units to complete the block. In step three, you'll nip off the corner of the B units for ease of placement when you get ready to sew the blocks together. And finally, the fourth corner of the tool allows you to trim them down to perfection every time. Let me show you how it works. Take your squares and fold them in half diagonally. Go to your iron and give it a quick press so it will hold that fold. Find step one on your tool and align the fold with the dashed line on the tool. You'll also align the corner of the square with the corner of the tool. When you make that cut, you've created the A unit for the middle of your block. You'll repeat that until you have two of those. Next, Take your rectangles. Make sure that you place the rectangles right side together because we want to create mirror image units. Find the step two side of the tool. You'll find a blunt corner and a long black line. Align the blunt corner and the line with the left side of your block and make your cut. You'll end up with two mirror image B units keeping the blocks right side together. We'll move on to step three. In step three, align the long angle and the bottom edge and cut off just that corner. It's going to help you place them correctly for sewing. Let me show you how it works. Take your A unit and align your B unit you can always remember that the wide section of the B goes with the wide section of the A. Align the edge and sew a quarter inch from the edge. Make sure that you press away from the A unit, keeping the A unit flat at all times. It should look like this. Next, take the opposite unit, again lining up that little blunt tip that we cut off and aligning the long edge. This time you want to turn it over so that you can start sewing again from the wider edge of the A unit. Once again, press away from the center and keep the A unit flat at all times. Finally, it's time to trim. There are two trims to finish the block. You'll notice there's a little V in the corner of the trim one and trim two corner. There's also a diagonal line. We'll place that little V right in the tip of the corner and align that long edge. When you cut those two sides, you've left yourself a precise quarter inch seam allowance in this corner. Now rotate the block, align the two edges that were just trimmed with the size that you're making. Today we're making four inch finished. That diagonal line should go right into the corner. And when we trim, we have a perfect block that will finish at four inches when it's sewn into our quilt. It's just that easy. Now let me show you a few patterns that you can make with this tool. The first three quilts that I'm going to show you are standalone patterns and they come in two sizes, lap and queen. This quilt is called Sassafras. You'll notice that it combines the kitty corner tool with 
the Ultimate Flying Geese Tool. Next, Aptitude. Aptitude's a really fun, fast quilt to make, and you only have to make three fabric choices, your background and two contrasting colors. Aptitude combines the Kitty Corner Tool with the Strippy Stars Tool. And Catagonia. Catagonia uses the Cat's Cradle Tool in combination with the Kitty Cornered Tool. And it uses a lot of scraps, so pull out that scrap bag. Next, the following patterns are cut loose press patterns. Evergreen Runner uses the kitty corner tool and your favorite tool for squaring up half square triangles. Make one for yourself for this holiday season and make one for a friend. These make up very quickly. Liberty Runner, also a cut loose press pattern, uses the kitty corner tool and Y blocks to create the blocks for this pattern. Happy and blessed. Again, use your favorite tool to make the half square triangles and your kitty cornered blocks using the kitty cornered tool. Nostalgia combines the four inch log cabin trim tool with the kitty cornered tool. And here's one of my favorites, Daddy's Ties. I used homespun and stripes for this pattern, but you could actually use vintage ties if you have some in your collection. And finally, the quilt behind me is called Kitty Cornered Chain. It's also another great pattern to use scraps. Look for the Kitty Cornered tool at your local quilt shop and ask for the patterns uh, that I've just shown you to get going on your sewing. Until next time, happy stitching.